His Majesty the King delivered the following speech. لسيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى رعاه الله. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله سيدنا محمد خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. أصحاب السمو أيها الأخوة العزاء السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وبعد يسرني أن ألتقي بكم في هذه الأيام المباركة وبالعشر الأواخر من شهر رمضان لأجدد لكم التهاني بهذا الشهر الفضيل مبتهلا إلى المولى تعالى أن يوفقنا جميعا لصالح القول وخالص العمل وأن يعيده علينا وعليكم وعلى وطننا العزيز وشعبنا الكريم بالأمن والخير واليمن والبركات وعلى الأمتين العربية والإسلامية بالعز والرفعة والسلام والاستقرار كما يسعدني أن أتقدم بالشكر والتقدير لسماحة السيد علي الشريف محمد الأمين على محاضرته القيمة التي تحدث فيها عن خطر التطرف والإرهاب فجزاه الله تعالى خيرا على ما يبذله مع إخوانه العلماء والدعاة والمصلحين من نصح وإرشاد نظير ما قدموا لدينهم ودعوتهم وما سخروا له أنفسهم ووقتهم خدمة لأوطانهم ومجتمعاتهم فلهم منا جزيل الشكر والتقدير والامتنان أيها الأخوة نحمد الله تبارك وتعالى على نعمة الأمن والأمان الذي نعيشه في هذا الوطن الطيب والعزيز والتلاحم الصادق بين أبناء شعبنا الوفي على اختلاف عقائدهم ومذاهبهم وطوائفهم فقضية الأمن والأمان قضية هامة جدا بل من أهم القضايا التي يجب علينا أن نتذكرها دائما والتي يجب أن يحرص عليها كل مواطن ومقيم لأن فقدان الأمن يعني فقدان الضروريات الخمس الدين والنفس والعقل والعرض والمال والتي أمر الإسلام بحفظها وقد جعل الله تعالى الأمن في رأس نعمه الكبرى فقال الذي أطعمهم من جوع وآمنهم من خوف نسأل الله تعالى أن يديم علينا وعلى بلادنا نعمة الأمن والأمان والسلام كما نسأله سبحانه في هذا الشهر الكريم أن يتقبل منا ومنكم الصيام والقيام وصالح الأعمال وأن يوفقنا وإياكم لخدمة ديننا ووطننا وأمتنا وأن يؤلف بين قلوبنا وأن يحفظ مملكتنا الغالية البحرين أنه سميع مجيب الدعاء وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته شكرا His Majesty then performed the Maghrib prayer with the attendees
A telephone call was held today between His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, the Deputy Premier and Minister of Defense, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed congratulations to his counterpart for being appointed as Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Minister of Defense. He wished him success in serving his country to achieve the aspirations of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its people under the leadership of the custodian of the Two Holy Mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness highlighted the deep-rooted brotherly relations between the two kingdoms and wished them and their people security and stability. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met at Rafa'a Palace today with Lulu Group Managing Director Yusuf Ali in the presence of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince stressed the importance of facilitating international investments through innovative and modern regulation and policies. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted that this commitment is an important component of the Kingdom's sustainable development efforts, noting that opportunities and services will continue to grow. The Crown Prince noted that in order to meet Bahrain's ambitious development goals, we must continue to follow the principles of competitiveness, fairness and sustainability. Lulu Group Managing Director expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his continued support to business and investment in Bahrain. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, the President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the concluding ceremony of His Highness's sports tournament Nasser 10, held in the presence of ministers, senior officials, sponsoring companies, media bodies and invitees. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the Ramadan tournament witnessed a close follow-up from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa since its launch 10 years ago noting that His Majesty's support and interest was the basis of the tournament's success, which carries, or rather came in accordance with His Majesty's directives and vision of providing youth platforms and programs capable of attracting them and directing their energies to building and modernizing the kingdom. His Highness said that the tournament witnessed an outstanding development through adding team and individual sports along with football in order for the tournament's goals to apply to all Bahraini sports adding that it represents a national comprehensive sports project aiming to develop the Bahraini sports movement. His Highness also stated that along with His Majesty's support, the success of the tournament was a result of the national ministries and organizations' efforts, the sponsoring company's keenness on supporting the youth, and the media's coverage of the tournament's events. He reiterated the commitment to continue developing the tournament and making initiatives to transform it to a pro sports project with positive dimensions reflected on the Bahraini Sports March. He added that he had directed the organizing committee to study the ideas and suggestions published on media and made by sports unions, sponsoring companies and participating teams and the possibility of applying them in the next edition Nasr 11. His Highness Sheikh Nasr then honored the ministries and government institutions that contributed to the success of the various tournament events. He also honored the chairman of the High Organizing Committee and Director of His Highness Sheikh Nasser's Media Office and Information Center, Tawfiq al-Salihi, and the Chairman of the Consulting Committee and Secretary General of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Abdurrahman Askar. He also honored His Highness's football tournament's first championship sponsors, the winners of the football competition, the winning teams and other sports championships, the websites contributing to covering the tournament, and the High Organizing Committee of the tournament, as well as the concluding ceremonies, work team, and secretarial staff. His Highness received commemorative presents from the tournament's High Organizing Committee.
The Interior Minister, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, attended yesterday night the celebration of the Interior Ministry to mark the International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking in the presence of governors and senior government officials. The minister expressed thanks and appreciation for the sincere efforts of the National Anti-Drug Committee, hailing the achievements and the implementation of the five-year strategic goals, mainly the reduction of supply and demand of narcotics. He valued the efforts of the teamwork that was achieved by Sheikh Abdullah bin Rajid Al Khalifa as 79% of the strategic goals were achieved. He asserted that Bahrain continues to confront drug-related issues by firmly dealing with drug dealers in accordance with the law. He highlighted combating narcotics and psychotropic substances was a joint responsibility by all through the activation of community partnership to achieve goals and control drug-related risks. The General Director of Criminal Investigation and Forensic Science, Brigadier Abdelaziz Aramir, expressed in a speech de he delivered on behalf of the organizing committee sincere thanks and appreciation to the Interior Minister for his support and backing to anti-drug efforts. He highlighted that from January to May 31st, 18 kilograms of hashish, more than 5.6 kilograms of heroin, around 2 kilograms of methamphetamine, 18 kilograms of marijuana, and 3 kilograms of poppy seeds were confiscated, along with a large quantity of different psychotropic substances. He highlighted that a total of 605 cases were investigated and 570 suspects were arrested, while the efforts of the anti-narcotic directorate include a year-long awareness campaigns. The head of the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime in the GCC, Judge Dr. Hatem Fuad Ali, highlighted in a speech the efforts of the Interior Ministry and National Anti-Drug Committee. He said that the United Nations has launched the International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking to focus on the importance of joint efforts to deal with narcotics that harm society and youth. He hailed the partnership between the United Nations Office on Drug and Crime and the Interior Ministry. The celebration included a documentary that highlighted efforts and achievements in the implementation of the National Anti-Drug Strategy since its launch by the Interior Minister and Head of the National Anti-Drug Committee on the 24th of June 2015 that was followed with the formation of a work team to follow up the implementation of the strategy's 24 goals in coordination with partners. The celebration included honoring the ambassador at the Foreign Affairs Court, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, for his distinguished efforts and pioneering initiatives during his work at the Interior Ministry. Membership in the National Anti-Drug Committee and head of MAN Together program to fight violence and addiction, and addiction rather, Brigadier Abdurrahman Saleh Hassinan was also honored for his contributions to the National Anti-Drug Committee and Brigadier Mubarak bin Huel for his dedication while he was working as the Director of Anti-Narcotics. The members of the team assigned to follow up the implementation of the National Anti-Drug Strategy and distinguished staff of the Anti-Narcotics Directorate and Ma'an Program and sponsored companies were also honored. The Interior Minister hailed their anti-drug efforts, wishing them the best in serving the nation. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, asserted that 4,373 students in the secondary stage have started applying the community service course during the summer vacation at 136 official institutions. These included health centers, care centers for the elderly and people with special needs, in addition to libraries. Dr. Naimi added that the course is a pioneering voluntary project on the Arab arena. The minister visited a number of institutions that cooperate with the ministry in implementing the course. He also said that the ministry has set the course as one of the requirements for the general secondary certificate in order to encourage students to act rather for active participation in the community, enhance voluntary work and teamwork principles, as well as acquiring skills that can assist in future career success. The minister also noted that the course includes 60 training hours in which an 11th grade student applies 30 hours inside the school through participating in projects that enhance the school community, in addition to another external 30 hours in official service institutions. The Moon Sighting Committee will meet on Saturday, June 24th, corresponding to Ramadan 29th at the Supreme Islamic Affairs Council premises to receive reports of Shawal Moon that will confirm the advent of Eid al-Fitr. The Council issued a statement in which it urged the public to diligently observe the tentatively anticipated birth of the new crescent moon, the first of Shawal 1438 Hijra, and to immediately report by calling the committee to confirm the advent of Eid al-Fitr. 
The council extended congratulations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Royal Family and the people of Bahrain, as well as all Muslims around the world. And before we end the news here,